What's up, YouTube? My name is Jasmine, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are y'all doing today? I hope everybody's doing good, y'all. I am so excited to film this video. Um, today's video, I'm going to basically be showing you guys, well, tell you guys how I edit and film my videos, what I use, the equipment I use, just all of that good tea. So, without further ado, we're just going to get straight into the video. Alright, y'all, so if y'all do see me looking down, I have, like, key points just to kind of help me out with the video and kind of make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. First things first is I wanted to start off with cameras for beginners. Um, the camera that I'm filming on now, the Canon S x 740hs is a good camera to start off with honestly you don't need like a high quality camera to start off with when you first start your youtube channel but if you want to then you can if you just want to if you have the money to do so at the time then you can do so this camera is kind of low budget it is like 300 dollars, which isn't that bad but when i first started youtube i did start vlogging off of my i had at the time i had an iphone 7 and then i upgraded to a iphone 12 mini which is the current phone that i have now if y'all cannot see that is the current phone i have now so that's what i used to film off of and then eventually i upgraded to this camera and within the next few months i will be upgrading to another better camera but i will not be telling you guys what the camera is just yet because i want to do an unboxing and kind of sort of surprise y'all so stay tuned for that video another camera that is a good camera like a good vlogging camera but kind of on the low budget side is the canon powershot v10 now i've seen this camera this is like the perfect camera to get if like it's it's just really perfect i also i kind of sort of consider getting this camera but the, the only downside to that camera is that it doesn't have a way for you to zoom in like for an example on this camera i can zoom in if i want to and i can zoom out if i want to so that was the only downside about that camera is that you can't zoom and zoom zoom in and zoom out um which was kind of sad but other than that the camera is really good it has like a soft face filter and stuff like that on it it has image stabilization if you're into that kind of thing um that camera is about 300 dollars the next camera is a sony zv 1f that camera is around 300 to 400 dollars as well um other cameras like the sony zv1 the canon g7x mark ii those cameras are like about 600 800 dollars so i would kind of wait and like invest in those cameras but these cameras are good to start off with. next is my camera equipment which i'm excited to finally get into the stuff i use so i just told you guys i use the canon powershot sx 740hs it is 300 dollars and honestly it's not a bad camera camera to start off with the camera quality is kind of fuzzy looking but you can still see things like clearly obviously you can see me clearly sorry i'm looking at the viewfinder but i just wanted to like look but you can see me clearly you can see what i have on clearly um if i were to show my phone for an example oh my gosh if i were to show my phone for an example like the focus is pretty good for the most part i do have um it has face tracking so like as i move the box moves with me i probably look stupid doing that this camera is honestly a good camera to start off with um the settings are super easy to use the camera is like just super easy to figure out you really don't need like a dedicated youtube video to figure out how to work this camera i also use my um iphone 12 mini to record different things even if it isn't just for youtube i may use it just to kind of capture two different angles from the same spot so i also use my phone to film vertical content whether that's for tiktok reels youtube shorts or just film filming in general so um any iphone camera is good um i would say the more recent iphones that just came out so maybe from the 11 and up i would say those cameras are good but all the other ones are this can either discontinue or they're just ass so yeah so far as the tripods that i use let me go grab them. so i currently at the moment have two tripods this is my first tripod um this came with um this came with one of the older tripods that i have but basically what's the brand this brand i don't really know the brand of this tripod nor do i remember where i got this one from but if i find the link to it i believe i got this tripod off of amazon so i will definitely be sure to link this down below but this is the brand i don't know how to pronounce it 
Y'all see how good it kind of focuses though? It didn't take long, but that's the brand. Um, but this tripod is really good. You can extend it as you guys saw. This is as far as it goes, but you really don't need. This is more for like a travel or like a day out type of tripod. You really don't need like a tripod that does the most. It um folds down and it rotates, so it's pretty good. It's a 360. This is like 360, so it is a good tripod to have. The next tripod that I have that I genuinely love like to the death of me i got this tripod off of timu for about 11 dollars. if i can find the link i will definitely link this in the description box down below this tripod is really good the bottom part comes out you can also attach a ring light to this but the bottom part comes out this is a this is not a tutorial but the bottom part comes out and then just like the other tripod this you just undo these and you pull it up and then this is also a 360 and you can attach this little piece to it it's a really good tripod i also love this tripod i use this tripod mainly for capturing i Mm, it depends it's more of a like if i'm filming maybe short form content or if i'm just not really i really don't need a ring light then i will use it for a sit down video next is the sd card i only have one sd card at the moment and it's in my current camera that i'm using but the sd card that i use i believe is called sandisk and the current one that I have has 128 gigabytes, but you can get some off of Amazon that are that have less or more. There's some that have 64 gigabytes on it. There's some that have 256, and there's some that get even higher than that. So I would definitely say when it comes to when you have a camera to get um, a big enough like get like enough storage space for you to be able to film multiple videos on. That is all of the camera equipment that I use. Now going into how to kind of make your YouTube videos kind of aesthetically pleasing kind of sort of or just make them look good in general. So first things first, switch up your angles and your POVs. Like always switch it up no matter if you're filming right here or like your I, I will insert some clips of what I mean when I say switch up your angles but when you switch up your angles it really helps to kind of make your video not look so boring and so like that even if you are doing a sit down video there's still ways to kind of spice it up for an example you can add zoom in effects pop up text just different stuff because honestly if y'all saw this video just uncut raw y'all gonna be like this is kind of boring like mm, don't really want to watch it <laughs> click off so just kind of switch up your angles and POVs. Um, you can also use your camera, your iPhone camera, and you could do like a video, like a 0.5. Y'all see a 0.5 kind of angle or whatever just to kind of spice it up a little bit and make it different and keep your audience engaged with you. Um, something else I would say is edit to cater to the music. And when I say this, I basically mean edit on beat with the music. So if there's like a doom, 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 then edit, like edit your clips like that but with each beat make sure that you're doing something different but just kind of edit on beat if that makes sense when it comes to like your music add music based on like your video vibe or like the clip vibe so for an example if you have a clip where you're i don't know walking in a park don't do a, a drake non-copyrighted song like if you're walking in the park that's more of like nature calm so maybe do you can maybe do like SZA or summer walker if you want to or you could just do like something like lo-fi like a lo-fi chill beat just to kind of set the scenery maybe find something nature related and add that or you don't have to add music to it at all you can to make it more authentic and realistic you just don't you don't add music at all and it could just be like you can hear the birds the wind blowing just like that kind of stuff just kind of make it you know fit the vibe if you're at a fair and you're hanging with friends and you want to add some you know more hip-hop hype music then you could do that but just kind of when it comes to music and your video clips kind of base the music the the clip on how how the music should be if that like the music and the clip should go together like it should never kind of be off or I, I really don't know how to explain it I you kind of sort of have to just kind of see some of my videos to in order for it to make sense but I'm pretty sure I already added a clip in here so yeah
Next, going into what I use to edit. Again, sorry if I'm looking down at my phone. Um, I have key points of what I want to talk about. But what I use to edit is my, it's actually right here, is my handy dandy MacBook. I was about to say MacBook Pro, baby. This is a MacBook Air. I use my handy dandy MacBook Air and I also use my um, phone. Depending on what I'm doing, if I'm kind of editing up a YouTube short or a TikTok, like a a, a TikTok or a reel then I may edit off of my phone but most of the time I just import the videos from my phone and I put them into my MacBook and I edit from there so that is what I um, use to this is what I use to edit I also use CapCut to edit my videos and I will be investing in CapCut Pro because I freaking love it I did a trial and I really thought it was good so I will be using that um to kind of spice up my videos it is I believe 10 to 11 dollars a month but shit is worth it i'm not complaining also use pixar and canva to edit thumbnails or add text to my videos as well as fonto and then if i want to um this is not really necessarily like editing but i do get some green screens and like music from youtube which we will get into for our next category which is music i do use music from youtube and the way to check if it's copyrighted or not is to basically take a screen record of the song that you're using post it onto youtube as private or unlisted and scroll down to the bottom and if the song the actual song doesn't pop up if it doesn't show like for an example um glorilla wannabe then that means that it's not copyrighted and you're free to use it something else you can use to download music to your laptop is from youtube is youtube mp3 um basically what you do is you take the the url link from that song you copy it and you paste it into the youtube mp3 player and then you can download it onto your laptop and insert it into your video um moises is another app that i use to actually get my music so last but not least for the music i also use a website called thematic um you do have to pay for it i personally do not pay for the premium version right now because i feel like i don't use it enough and i'm still trying to get into it but that is a good they do have plenty of good songs that you can use that are royalty free and you can put it on youtube in order to not get copyrighted all you have to do is credit the artist so basically copy and paste the link into your youtube description and then you will not get copyrighted um that's pretty much i feel like i pretty much touched base on everything so far as what i use to edit how i edit so far as sound effects and stuff like that i get all of that stuff from either youtube or within CapCut itself if i want to add like a meme or something like that um or a gif i believe i use gif i think it's called giphy or something like that i'll put it on the screen but i use that um to get like the cute little memes and i add those into my videos as well but i think i pretty much touched base on everything so if you made it to the end of this video please comment down below the laptop emoji and that is going to be it for today's video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, turn on post notification bell, share with a friend if you like to see me outside of YouTube. All my social medias will be in the description box down below. Without further ado, I hope you got some good advice from this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.